What's going on world? I am DJ Swaver, and this is another episode of Ottoman Box Openings. On today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at both colorways of the Nike collab with Undefeated on the Air Max 97. Now the story on how I got the white pair of this collab is kind of mind blowing. It's something that's never happened to me in this sneaker game. Now we all know the white pair of this pack was only going to be released on the Undefeated website and at their stores. That pretty much meant somebody like me that lives in a completely different state only had a chance to get the white pair on the undefeated website. Well, you already know how that went. It was basically a complete mess. I actually was able to get through and complete my order for a size 13 in the white pair. But for some weird reason, Undefeated canceled my order like 20 minutes later. I'm not quite sure why they did that. Maybe they thought my order was like a bot order or something. Nonetheless, I was heated. So what does a normal sneakerhead do when they miss out on the release? We go to Instagram, we go to that post, and we talk shit. I was on that post for literally three hours talking so much stuff to people that got their pairs. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I was low key hating, but who doesn't do that? Now this is where the story gets interesting. All of a sudden on Instagram, I get a notification. So I go to the notification and I see it's somebody that normally likes a lot of my sneaker pictures on Instagram. This is how Tim became one of my new best friends. Somehow or another, this dude was able to get two pairs of the white colorway and was willing to give me one of those pairs once they got to him. Now, of course, initially I was a little skeptical. As y'all may know, I'm like the cheapest dude ever. I'm not paying much over retail for a sneaker. So I just straight up asked him, bro, you trying to give me these shoes for retail? And his answer, yes, mind blowing. Long story short, he sends me a PayPal invoice for the retail price of these sneakers. All I had to pay for was the shipping. Tim, you are now my best friend. I'm gonna throw up his Instagram handle on the screen. If y'all mess with me, go give him a follow right now. Tim, you are the real MVP, bro. We need more people like you in this sneaker game. I said all that to say, if you have a sneaker that you really don't want or you got an extra pair of a hype sneaker, don't hesitate to give that sneaker away for retail. Every sneaker doesn't have to be a huge come up. The odds are, you're not a professional reseller. You're not selling this shoe to keep your lights on. Sometimes you just gotta be a blessing to somebody else and know that that blessing is gonna come back to you even better. Now, am I telling you to like give every sneaker you got away just for retail? Hell no. But it doesn't hurt to do it every now and then. And since this has happened to me and I got blessed with a retail price of a hype shoe, I'm definitely going to consider giving a shoe or two away in the future for retail price if I really don't want that shoe. If you take away one thing from this video today, take this. Being a blessing to others will always bring more blessings to you. But enough about me preaching. Let's get to these box openings. Now we might as well start with the most hype colorway of this Nike Undefeated collab on the Air Max 97 OG. Now this particular colorway was only released at Undefeated. It was only released at their actual store locations and on the online website. According to Instagram and Twitter, their store location releases were pretty much all shit shows. And the online release wasn't that much better. A few of my homies were actually able to get their pairs on the online release. And even though it took me a couple days longer, I was actually able to get mine. Now that I got all the specifics out the way, let's take a look at this dope ass sneak. Sneaker. And this is the collab between Nike and Undefeated on the Air Max 97 OG. This particular colorway is Fuego. But how do you say flames in Italian? Because personally, this sneaker gives me a super Italy vibe. I'm pretty sure on the video, this sneaker looks white, but in hand, the upper of this video is really like an off-white, almost cell color. The main two features of this sneaker are the patent leather that go around the bottom of the upper, as well as this leather paneling right here, which is colored red and green with Undefeated printed inside of that leather paneling. As you can see, the upper is pretty much comprised of the same canvas and leather material that you would find on any other OG Air Max 97. Of course, with any patent leather on a sneaker, your main concern is scuff marks. That patent leather, I'm almost positive, is going to scuff pretty easily. So I'm going to be stiff arming anybody that comes near me when I'm in these shoes. As I said before in previous videos, when I'm getting a collab sneaker, I want to see that boutique or that brand that's doing the collab. I want to see their branding all over that sneaker. As you can see, Undefeated is everywhere on this sneaker. In that leather paneling that goes around the whole shoe on the upper, as well as the Undefeated logo on the tip of the tongue and on the insole of the shoe. The sneaker also came with another pair of green and white laces, which I'm glad Nike did. I mean, I'm paying all this money for a premium shoe. I better get at least an extra pair of laces. I honestly think these laces may look better than the laces they came with, so I may have to do a swap out and just see how it looks. And that pretty much in a nutshell is this sneaker. It's a simple sneaker, but looking at this sneaker, you're gonna know that it's an undefeated collab. On a scale to one to 10, I'm giving this sneaker an easy eight. It's a little too simple
simple for me to put it above the Skepta Air Max 97 collab, but it is right behind it. This sneaker is guaranteed to turn heads when you put it on. I'm pretty sure you already know if you didn't get your hands on this pair on release day, the only place you're going to be able to get it now is the resale market. Now, the prices on the resale market are kind of high, to be honest with you. I'm seeing my size 13 going from like $350 to $400. Would I personally pay $400 for this sneaker? Absolutely not. But if you got $300 to $400 just laying around somewhere, you might as well go ahead and get your hands on a pair. The price is only going to keep going up. Let me know down in the comment section how y'all feel about this sneaker. Do you think this is the better out of the two colorways? Let me know down in the comment section your opinion. And this is the white colorway of the Nike and Undefeated collab on the Air Max 97 OG. And the black colorway in this pack was the one that was more widely released. It released at all of their store locations and on their website. But this sneaker also released at a number of boutiques around the world that get a lot of the hyped and rare sneakers that release. Without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this sneaker. And this is the black colorway of the Nike and Undefeated collab on the Air Max 97 OG. It's weird because this sneaker is pretty much the same sneaker as the white colorway just with the black upper, but it gives you a completely different vibe. This sneaker gives me a Gucci vibe all the way. If I had this sneaker on and walked into a Gucci store, I wonder what they look at me weird. As with the first shoe, the main feature of this sneaker is that patent leather going across the whole upper and as well as the red and green leather paneling that has undefeated printed inside of that paneling. It's pretty much the other shoe, so I'm not going to repeat myself too much and sound redundant. The rest of the upper is comprised of black leather and black canvas. On the outside of the sneaker, the check is in a black color, but on the inside of the sneaker, the check is in a red color. That little small touch is pretty dope to me. You have a red check on the tongue as well as the undefeated logo on the tongue. The undefeated logo is also on the insole of the sneaker. The shoe also came with another set of black and red laces. To be honest with you, I'm probably going to switch these all black laces out just to see how these red and black laces look inside of this shoe. And for the most part, that is pretty much what makes up this sneaker. It's pretty much the first white sneaker that we saw. Switch out the white with the black and bam, here you go. In my opinion, the white colorway is the best colorway in this pack, but this black one is not far behind that white colorway. Something about that black patent leather is super sexy to me. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving this a 7.5. Now this is the first first 0.5 anything that I've given on a sneaker on this channel. I'm giving it a 0.5 because I gave the white colorway an 8 and I said this one isn't far behind it. Just like the white pair, if you didn't get this colorway on the release day on the Undefeated website or when it released on the sneakers app, the only way you're going to be able to get your hands on a pair is the resale market. Now because this colorway had a wider release, the resale price on this sneaker is a lot lower than the white colorway. As of right now, I'm seeing the size 13 go for like 250 bucks. Is this sneaker worth 250 dollars? Yes. If you got a few extra dollars laying around, do not hesitate to get this sneaker off the resale market. I got a weird feeling the prices are going to start rising up in a few months. Let me know down in the comment section what y'all think about this sneaker. Are you liking this sneaker? Do you not like this sneaker? Did you get your hands on a pair? Do you think this black colorway is better than the white colorway? Let me know y'all's opinions down in the comment section. I'd love to hear what y'all got to say. And this is the black colorway of the Nike and Undefeated collab on the Air Max 97.
once again, I want to give a shout out to my homie Tim. Without you, I probably would not have this white pair, bro. We need more people like you in the sneaker game that ain't always trying to be a vulture and come up off the next person's wallet. You don't understand how thankful I am that you were able to help me out on getting this pair, bro. If you haven't already, smash that thumbs up, smash that like button for me. And if you haven't already, definitely subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And you already know the routine. When you subscribe, hit that little bell button next to the subscribe button so when I post something on YouTube, you get it first. Once again, I am DJ Swaver. This is another episode of Ottoman Box Openings. And until next time, peace.